not many people are going to be familiar with all of the updates that get pushed to our Android devices. Most people are going to be focused on just the big over-the-air updates, like the Android 15 update that so many people are currently waiting on. Some of them are smaller though, and these updates come in the form of monthly or quarterly security patches. But there's also the Google Play system updates, aka Google system updates. And these are released by Google themselves and generally come with something new each and every week to Android. Since we're in the last week of March, 2025, I wanted to give a complete summary of all the changes that they have been working on for this month's update. I'll have this page linked down below so you can follow along. But once you open up this page, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of March's updates so that we can get a view of the new changes from the month. During the first week of March, the Google Play Store received a new topic page that allowed you to explore mobile game genres easier than before and in greater depth. You can even install and launch apps easier with a new install bar that sits at the top of the screen of the Google Play Store, even as you scroll down the app page. Google Play services also received some changes within the first week of the month, which allowed for improved login reliability for both teens as well as children, and Google Wallet launched in some additional countries as well. Now the last changes of that week include some optimizations for the adaptive battery feature that's possible thanks to the device health services application. So that was the first week of the month, and seven days later, on March 10th, Google began rolling out even more updates to its ecosystem of Android apps. This included some new developer features for app developers, giving the ability to support both device connectivity and analytic related processes. Speaking of device connectivity, Google launched an improved interface for the cast options setting screen, and Android can now find thread networks and nearby border routers to help simplify network management. They've added in some ways to help you discover new changes included in the latest Android update and new Gemini features. All Android platforms relieved some device connectivity improvements and you gained the ability to sync your SIM contacts to your Google account. Google Wallet also received some new changes that week, allowing it to support the asymmetric protocol of NFC readers. You can now supervise how your child uses Google Wallet, and you can easily provide feedback about the digital car key feature. And the last change of that week made app review pages display in two columns. Then last week, the updates included the ability to delete all of your data within the Google password manager. You'll also now get a prompt within the Google guide campaign for enabling photo backups. And there's a new voice search page for the Google play store. Google wallet got a few more updates last week as well with new animations that play when you tap on certain cards, an improved user experience when accessing cards from your phone and from your smartwatch, and a redesigned campus ID feature to help improve the overall experience as well. The last of these March 2025 updates began rolling out yesterday, and they include some recommendations for cross-device services, new developer features allowing third-party apps to support maps-related processes. Some existing Find My Device features now work in direct boot mode within Android. And you can even enable a mandatory biometrics toggle in Android Autofill to protect your data in case your smartphone has been stolen. Google Wallet got even more love this week with the ability to add a new education card within the app, and it now supports the Alero protocol within NFC readers. 
you'll soon begin to see a new quest format within the search page of the Google Play Store. Subscription offers will begin showing up in the search results page, as well as in the app details page. And a new format now highlights new and noteworthy events within apps and mobile games in the Google Play Store. There's even been a number of bug fixes included here, giving you another reason to install the update, even if you aren't a fan of these new features that are rolling out. These new changes get pushed to your Android device in a variety of ways. Some of them arrive thanks to new app updates within the Google Play Store. So again, it's always a good idea to keep your apps updated from there. And others are added when you install the Google Play system update for the month of March. I detailed how to install those updates in a previous guide. So if you're not familiar with that process, then be sure to check for that link down below. And please do not forget to give this video a like while also subscribing to the channel as well.